Map is a method of the array object. It iterates through each item in the array and uses the provided callback function to apply some logic to each item. A new array is returned with all of the new values that have been returned from the given function. So in other words, it doesn't modify or mutate the original array. It actually builds and returns a new array. So what we want to do is we want to start by creating an array. Here we have an array of numbers called ages, where each number represents a person's age who's older than 18. And what we want to do is we want to create a function that uses map that builds a new array of the distance of their age from 18. So in other words, if we start with 21, we know that 21 is 3 years older than 18. So the first value in the new array needs to be 3. And so we want to do this with all of the items in this array, and we want it to build a brand new array that represents the distance of each person's age from 18. So let's create a variable called ages since 18. And we're going to set that equal to ages.map because we want to use the map function built into JavaScript. So we know that whatever function we give it, it's going to apply some logic to each and every single one of these. It iterates through each and every one of these. And whichever iteration it's on, say it's on 88, that's going to be equal to the argument that's passed into the function that we provide. So we can say age is the argument that goes to the function that we're going to provide here. So on the first iteration, age, underscore age here, is going to be 21. On the second iteration, it'll be 44, etc. So now this is where we want to put our logic. Here we want to say age minus 18. So what this is going to do is for each iteration, it's going to pass age into this function, and we're going to just subtract 18 from the age and return it, and it will automatically build the array that we're wanting. In order to demonstrate this, I'm going to run this in the command line using Node.js. As you can see, the array that's logged here is the array that we would expect, the transformed array of each age's distance from the age of 18. Another example is when you have an array of objects, and you want to create a new array of just one of the properties of those objects. For instance, we want to create an array of ages only. We just want to have an array of all of these people's ages. We don't really care about their name. So we can say people.map, and for each person, we want to just return person.age. And then we can use the example from the previous example, since ages only is now the array of the ages only, we can say ages only dot map for each age subtract 18 from age, and now we have ages since 18. So if we come over here and demonstrate this, if I run node map, you can see that the first array is the ages only, and then the second array is their distance from the age of 18. Another default argument that's automatically passed to the function that you provide to map is the index. What do I mean by that? Well, let's go here. So we had person, which represents the value for the iteration we're on. And then we also can say person index, or you can name this anything you want, but I'm going to call it person index, which represents the iteration number you're on. So in other words, if we're on the third iteration here, person index will be 2 because arrays start with the index of 0. So it will actually be 0, 1, 2, 3. And we can actually come in here and demonstrate this by console.logging the person index. So when I save this and run this in node, you can see that it's logging the index here. This method is very helpful because it allows you to very easily transform an array into a brand new array without modifying the original. If you guys enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.